This guy who's teaching Alpha Academy, pay attention, right, was in that high school, scared, unable to communicate, beat up, and wanting to figure it out. Just a total nerd, an outcast. No one knew me. No one liked me. I'm not okay, that there's a way to be okay, and I got to do it. And that nobody is going to get me there. I have to fix me. I got it. I couldn't fix all of Delmar High School. I got to get to a point where no matter what they do, I can handle it. You got to change the questions in your head. You have to fix the inside so that it is undisturbed no matter what happens on the outside. This is very important. This is part of this class, everybody. In 1991, in Del Mar High School, which is right down the street, we used to live right next to it, right? In 1991, this guy who's teaching Alpha Academy, pay attention, right? Was in that high school, scared, unable to communicate, beat up, and wanting to figure it out. Just a total nerd, an outcast. No one knew me, no one liked me. And there I go, stepping into high school and just trying to be okay, right? And high school was a whole different world, if you remember, because the girls in high school looked like women. You go, you go from, I went from fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth was one, one school called Campbell Middle School, the middle school, right? Then eighth grade, you graduate to ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th. Seniors are like driving with tits. They're in, they're, they're in skirts, uh, uh, cheerleaders. And here I am, a Persian boy, right? Learning English and just looking at these beautiful hot women. But when I'm walking through the halls, they don't even see me. They literally don't see me. Like, they go past me. And they're in their cheerleader outfits, talking to each other, carrying their books. Three lockers down is cheerleaders. I, I'm never going to forget that. I could smell them. <sighs> My God. Right, Glero? Imagine with your sense of nose. You would probably smell their underwear. I would just smell their perfume. I'm like, God. And then here comes the jocks. Right? And they're like four times bigger than me because I'm not only a freshman, two things. My birthday was, was uh, falsified when I was born because my parents wanted me to go to school sooner. So they gave my birthday in August. They could do that, I guess, in Iran at that time. And so I'm actually one year ahead of what I should be in school. So I'm one year underdeveloped, first of all. Second of all, I'm Persian. I don't look like these. So I'm already in the Persian world. I'm already a small kid. Right? So I, man, talk about that dude is never going to anybody. <laughs> I'm that kid. I hope they all show up. I hope they all show up. Not because I want to make them wrong. I want to see them again. I want to see them again. I want to show me something. I want to show what hard work discipline, focus, goodness, never giving up. That's what it looks like. I might be the only one without a kid. I even went through that for a second in my mind. Like They're going to be like, so how many kids do you have? Or do you have any kids? No, but I got four girlfriends or five. I don't know how many I got. Yeah. The oldest being 11 years younger than me. Well, what you got going on? Alpha Academy. You're here as I'm still doing, to create your life and create your character. So if you ever had a hater, if you ever had a non-believer, that's just fuel, bro. If you came from somewhere, wherever it was, and you wanted to be somewhere else, then this is the path to get there. But you're going to have to get yourself there. And it's going to take a lot of work, and the work never ends. It never stops. From last night till this morning, I'm completely different. I had so many realizations last night. So many real I mean, that's what lockdown is for, right? So I went early into lockdown, had so many realizations this morning, so many, I'm a different person again today. I saw my mistakes. I saw what I, that, you know, the beauty of going out on the weekend so hard is that when you get that lockdown at the end of like two, three days and you sit there, I had so much data to work with. I haven't, I haven't had the chance to process it, right? We go out Friday night, we come in late, wake up Saturday, we're going. Saturday all the way, Sunday, go all the way. And then finally I had some 
time when I'm sitting here and now I'm processing. So I got to see what I need to fix in my character. Of course, I've had this realization. It's just a depth deeper. Okay. And so it's, um, I'll just give it to you the way it came to me. You're a prisoner. I'm speaking to me. I'm going to speak to me. Okay. But listen, you're a prisoner. You're in a prison planet. You don't know where you came from. You don't know where you're going. You are fully aware that there are forces outside of you that are doing things without a doubt. You know, you've been lied to your whole life. You know, you're probably not going to find the truth in the end. Why don't you humble yourself the right way? Let me explain what that means, okay? Don't walk around the prison pounding your chest, pretending like it's nice to be in prison. Why don't you work on you a little harder and see if you can get out a little bit or how do you get out? Well, you got you to gotta change the questions in your head. I'm talking to me. You got to change the questions in your head. You have to fix the inside so that it is undisturbed no matter what happens on the outside. You have to do that. You're still too disturbed on the inside. And so this completely altered the way I was behaving this morning. It came to me last night. I woke up with it. I went into meditation and then that was a whole, well, what an experience that was, man. Uh, it was really, really, really different, really deep. It wasn't the meditation that was so deep. It's the rest after. You're supposed to meditate and rest, okay? That rest processes it out. And it was the rest. I was like, whoa, what the hell is going on here, right? And I woke up completely different because I realized, you know, there's so much you have to work on internally all the time. You can't allow anything to get to you. And when it does get to you, that is the clue on what you need to work on next. I'm speaking about my own process here. That's what we're here. Something gets to you. Someone says something. Someone does something and it gets to you. This is your work at that moment. This is it. And if you want to free yourself from the next shackle, then that is the shackle that you just saw. You don't even know you have it until someone does something to trigger your up or make you feel bad the moment another being can make you feel bad with anything they do i don't care what they do the moment they do that you're looking at a shackle on your soul something is holding you and instead of going over there and handling that person you should stop and go analyze that chain that is there because if you remove that person and if you go on the shackle remains but if you remove the shackle then the person can be another person or whatever but you remove the shackle. And so what I did this morning is I recommitted myself again for the 100th time, thousandth time, millionth time since high school. That's why I'm showing you that because it was, it was in freshman year and even before that I decided I was going to get my life together. So some of you guys are newer to this process. I've been doing this, bro. I became aware at some point that I'm not okay, that there's a way to be okay and I got to do it. And that nobody is going to get me there. I have to fix me. I got it. I couldn't fix all of Del Mar High School. I got to get to a point where no matter what they do, I can handle it. And so then we lose contact for years and years and years. And we're about to come back. What are they going to do when they see me? And I won't even brag. I, don't, I won't even tell them what's going on. I just want to show up. My presence will be enough. If they found out what my life is, they couldn't take it, bro. How many of my high school buddies right now would like to live like this?